These videos have been produced on site in a large fabrication facility, and we ask your understanding for the environmental background noise. The Copper Development Association is pleased to present a series of video presentations covering the welding of copper nickel alloys. In this segment, we will cover the preparation steps for welding these alloys, as well as some of their properties. We're presenting the information in welder's language for the benefit of those who do the actual welding. However, this information should also be of help to the engineers, design personnel, and others who work with the alloys indirectly. In this series of videos, we'll be talking about the preparation and welding of copper nickel alloys. Copper nickel alloys are used in situations where high purity, resistance to biofouling and bacteria, and extreme corrosion resistance are required. Copper nickel alloys have the advantage of good strength and good formability, and weldability is different from stainless steel or carbon steels. But as you'll see in these videos, it's not all that difficult if the proper procedures are used. These videos are intended for experienced welders who have been trained and are cognizant of all of the safety and environmental precautions that may be required in their industry or specific geographical location. And we will not be talking about these in any kind of detail. Uh, we'll just be focusing on the uh, things we need to do for welding. Before a weld arc is struck, here are some basics on copper nickel alloys and important preparations for welding. The two main grades of copper nickel alloys used in industry are 90-10, 90% copper and 10% nickel, and 70-30, 70% copper and 30% nickel. In metallurgy, these are described as solid solution alloys. This means any amount of copper is completely soluble in nickel and any amount of nickel is soluble in copper. So why is this important in joining copper nickel alloys? As you may know, in welding materials like a low alloy steel, it may be necessary to use a preheat or post-weld heat treatment, or both, to prevent weld cracking and maintain good properties. This is due to the alloy's phase formation, which has a different structure than the base metal, and that can make the weld and heat affected zone hard brittle, and possibly prone to cracks. No such phase develops in copper-nickel alloys as a result of welding. Of course, this also means the alloys cannot be strengthened by a heat treatment. The alloys can be strengthened only by cold working. However, the copper-nickel alloys are very ductile, so it takes a considerable amount of cold working to bring about a significant amount of strengthening. In every welding application, of course, Cleaning the material before welding is important. It's also important in copper nickel and maybe it's more important to be sure that uh, certain contaminants that might cause porosity or embrittlement aren't present before we start welding. We'll prepare this plate for welding. This is a 3 8 or 10 millimeter thick piece of 90-10 copper nickel alloy. We'll grind it first and then we'll solvent clean the edges. The plate's been beveled already for welding. Uh, beveling can be done by any process, saw cutting, machining, grinding to the proper angle. Uh, this is uh, 37 and a half degrees for a 75 degree included angle joint. We'll be using an abrasive disc. It's important to remember, only use discs that have been used on stainless steel or copper nickel. Do not use grinding wheels or discs or wire brushes that have been used on carbon steel because parts of carbon steel could embed in the surface and cause later corrosion. We'll be grinding this plate in the weld area and up to a distance of an inch away from the extent of the weld that we anticipate. There are elements that even in small amounts are very detrimental to copper nickel alloys. And if present on the surface before welding, they can cause embrittlement and cracking in the weld or heat affected zone. The elements that are particularly harmful are lead, sulfur, phosphorus, and other low melting point metals. We'll grind both the front side surface and, and the back surface anywhere that we expect there to be welding. We want to remove all evidence of paint marks and oxidation. We 
We'll follow the grinding with a solvent wipe using an approved solvent to remove any other contaminants. Cleaning of the surfaces next to the weld joint prior to welding is essential. These stray elements may come from sources like oil, grease, cutting lubricants, marking crayons, paints, or just plain shop dirt. Typical cracking that may result from failure to remove these elements is shown here. This illustration is actually pure nickel welded with a sulfur residue on the surface. Now that we've properly cleaned this plate on all surfaces, it's ready to weld. In addition to these video presentations, there is also free printed and downloadable literature covering all aspects of copper nickel alloys, including fabrication, welding, and corrosion resistance.